let us talk about linux what is linux history of linux features supported under linux and the features of linux itself this is what we are going to cover today so what is linux linux is a generic term referring to unix like gui graphical user interface based computer operating system so linux is essentially a or an operating system it is multi user multitasking and multi processor these three we are going to see in detail this linux coexists with other operating systems and it runs on multiple platforms means hardware configurations so what was there before linux in 80s it was microsoft dos it was dominated and dominating for personal computers then apple mac it was better but somewhat expensive but still mac has uh, you know uh, various features that are still unmatched then unix was much, much better but much more expensive only for mini computer for computer application the unix was so people actually were looking for unix based system which is cheaper and can run on a pc so this is how it started this was gnu project which was established in 1984 by richard stallman and gnu is a recursive acronym of gnu not unix gnu g for g it is gnu's n for not u for unix so gnu is not unix so what was the aim the aim at developing a complete unix like operating system which is free for copying and modification so stallman and his team built the first free gnu c compiler in 1991 but still an os was yet to be developed because os operating system is in itself a bigger ask then uh, you know beginning of linux uh, how it took place a famous professor andrew tenbaum developed minix right he developed minix which was a simplified version of unix that could run on personal computers so minix is for class teaching only you know there was no intention for its commercial use at that time so in september 1991 linus tarwolds okay a second year student of computer science at university of helsinki he developed the preliminary kernel of linux also known as linux version so see a student he gave a thrust to what we know today linux is now linux today after all these happenings linux has been used for many computing platforms for personal computer for super computer and commercial vendors moved in uh, linux itself to provide freely distributed code and they make their money by compiling of various software and gathering them in a distributable format for example red hat uh, slackware etc there are so many people you, you know maybe when i am reading out this uh, number it might have increased so many of us are into linux so linux is a free software free software it is uh, you know governed by fsf free software foundation which is a matter of liberty not price so to qualify as free software by fsf standards you must be able to run the program for any purpose you want to rather than be restricted in what you can use it for and share the program with others improve the program and release them those uh, improvements so that others can be benefited by it so there are various flavors versions of linux softwares red hat linux one of the original linux distribution then the commercial non free version which is red hat enterprise linux which is aimed at big companies 
using Linux servers and desktop in a big way. Then Debian GNU or Linux, a free software distribution popular for use on servers. Then Gen2 Linux, uh, this Gen2 is a specialty uh, distribution meant for programmers. Then Ubuntu, Ubuntu is free Linux distros. Ubuntu is reliable and stable ubuntu is distribution uh, this distribution uh, for biggest software repositories ubuntu has a good hardware support for most of the companies and ubuntu has various variants like kubuntu zubuntu edubuntu gobuntu midi ubuntu okay this ubuntu is widely used these are the percentage of use it was long back but still today also it's quite relevant so this is how linux desktop looks like this is how the when your linux will start or you will install linux this is how everything will be and uh, you have a default fedora desktop this default desktop has three distinct areas First is your menu panel, then the desktop area, and the window list panel. First, the uh, menu pa menu panel. Let us see about this. There are applications. The application menu contains a variety of icons that uh, start software application, and it is similar to Microsoft Windows Start menu. Now, the places the places menu contains a customizable list of directories, mounted volumes recent document and a search function volumes that are mounted may be you know external flash drives hard drives directories shared across a network or other media devices such as a portable music player then comes the system menu this uh, has logout about help lock screen and preferences mozilla firefox is a web browser open office.org writer is a word processing program OpenOffice.org Impress is for great, uh, creating a presentation like PowerPoint in uh, as given by uh, Office, Microsoft Office. And then OpenOffice.org Calc is a spreadsheet tool more uh, nearer to Excel sheet of uh, Windows, uh, specifically the, you know, MS Office version. The evolution mail client and personal information manager then the desktop area it has computer home and trash this computer this contains all volumes which are mounted on the computer and if you plug in a pen drive th this will come as a one of the mounted uh, devices so these are also listed in the places menu so computer is equivalent to my computer as in microsoft windows home there is where the logged user stores all the file by default such as music movies documents etc so there is a different home uh, directory for each user and by default user cannot access each other's home directories so home is equivalent to my documents in uh, as in uh, microsoft windows then a trash like recycle bin so deleted files are moved to trash empty trash by right clicking the icon and just click empty trash so this is how uh, the thing starts you can start here these are the various areas you can start from this is your location from where you start these are the program these are the program uh, windows then these are the application windows you see program these these are the linkage programs and you go one step ahead you will find all the applications then you have a preference then come to utility software like office software we have word processor spreadsheet presentation and database application this is uh, an example of uh, office then this is the writer openoffice.org you can uh, make documents then uh, for browsing for internet you have a web browser called firefox this is mozilla firefox and other softwares include audio player cd player this audio player is X multimedia system, which is used to play digital sound files, CD player, uh, sound juicer, CD ripper, messaging client, then GFTP for FTP. 
so why linux why actually we took this topic and why we are talking about linux linux is very powerful it runs on multiple various varied hardware platforms and user likes its speed and stability that is why it is famous that is why people are using it so no requirement for latest hardware and it's free if you want to use it you want to start you are not going to go for a very high end uh, operating system then this is for you and it is li licensed under gpl because this is free this is the license of freeness then the vendors are distributors who package linux it is multi user what is multi user what is multi processing we'll see multi user is multi user operating system is that operating system that allows for multiple users to use the same computer at the same time and or different times while multi processing means an operating system capable of supporting and utilizing more than one computer processor right various processor various user it is multitasking as well as multi threading multitasking means an operating system that is capable of allowing multiple software processes to run at the same time while in multi threading operating systems that allow different parts of a software program to run concurrently in the form of threads also it is a or it is an open source software people improve it people adapt it they fix bugs and this can happen at a sp speed that compared to conventional software development seems astonishing because everyone across the globe is contributing linux the most important thing is it provides security as there is a limited access okay of user to basic files and folder in linux network it provides security to users privacy so without disclosing the secure data linux act as a efficient server oh that is an important line in linux is virus free linux is virus free in that there are essentially no viruses for linux in the world although research viruses certainly do exist there there is there are some viruses but still the way uh, windows system carries it maybe not to that extent and keeping up to date by upgrading or linux upgrade faster than windows compatibility is linux is always backward compatible unlike windows then the advantages of linux again we have seen so many but let us uh, summarize them the linux systems are stable they are free no threat of viruses linux comes in various uh, you know flavors comes with the most of the required software pre installed updated update all your uh, software with minimum fuss no problem at all linux never gets slow you know it's quite fast as compared to other uh, operating system linux does not need defragmentation linux can even run on the software of uh, you know moderate configuration software uh, adding more software is a matter of few clicks only and most windows only apps have their either their native versions or alternatives for linux so with linux you can get the highest degree of possible customizability thank you so much hope you got a idea of linux uh, linux operating system take care of yourself